back to see my friends at IG Burton. Who knows turn what we're right. going to take a look at then today. Turn left. But here we are, IG Burton, baby. Let's see what they got. What's up, everybody? You know we're back at IG Burton, and that only means one thing. We're going to be getting a new car on the channel, but we're deciding on which one. And uh, I know I said I'd never go electric, but check out this i5 m60 yes i'm thinking about not buying that you guys should know me better than that there's no way i'm moving to the electric vehicle but what i am eyeing up is this beautiful 2024 x5m take a look at this thing it looks absolutely amazing check it out love it it's black got red interior i'm gonna get this camera turned around we're gonna be selling the durango that you see here jumping into an x5m maybe maybe i came down to test the water see how i like the vehicle as you can tell i mean this thing's black on black we got red brakes let me get this camera turned around and give you a tour of this x5m and possible replacement for the durango you guys let me know down in the comments should i make the move maybe yes no let me know but uh let's check this thing out here's the key for the 24 x5m let's check this thing out So here it is, the 24 X5M, as you guys know, has 617 horsepower with a mild hybrid system that basically powers the electronics in the vehicle. From what I can gather, it doesn't uh, add any additional horsepower, that sort of thing. I mean, check out these gargantuan red brakes. Um, we got lucky the factory blessed us with the Michelin tires. What size? We got two 95, 35, 21s in the front and in the rear, we have 315, 30, 22, so some monster wheels on it. I mean, this thing looks fantastic. Check it out. You know I love my, my black on red. What do you guys think compared to the Durango? I mean, the Durango is no slouch. It has more horsepower. Uh, looks pretty damn tough, to be honest with you, especially that it's lowered. But let's pop the door on the X5M take a look at this thing inside again it has a beautiful red leather look at that i mean bmw build quality second to none and this car is no exception i mean absolutely amazing i mean it comes with a hefty price tag but as they say you get what you pay for that giant moonroof let's jump inside start this bad boy up Oh, we don't want any music on. So you guys are familiar with this iDrive screen. This is from the, uh, this is same thing that I had in the M3 comp. We got the carbon dash, M logo there. The vent uh, for the AC and heat are a little bit different. Leather wrap dashboard. I mean, this thing is insane. Let's jump back out and take a look at this door panel. Here's the window sticker for those of you that are, it's hard to see, but oh, there we go. You guys check out the options. You have a grand total of $133,415. bucks. Man, that's expensive. This is the rear seat. Let's open up the back of the vehicle. See this on uh, my uh, old X5 I had. This is pretty cool. This drops down. It's like a little seat, makes um, it much easier to load items into the car. And if you hit this button here, both of them close. That's a nice touch. I mean, I don't know, guys. What do you think? This came in my local dealer. You know, I was thinking about modding the Durango, but I don't know. This thing's kind of calling my name. Maybe, uh, Let's see if we get the door open. There we go. Maybe I'll sell the Durango and jump into this for the interim. I mean, it's 617 horsepower, and that's BMW horsepower, so we know that's underrated. But yeah, here it is. This is the new vehicle that I'm thinking about adding to the channel. Oh, gotta pop the hood. Can't forget about that. 
But what do you guys think? I mean, how's that compared to the Durango? We got uh, 710 horsepower, 617 horsepower. Let me shut this car off so it stops beeping at us. Get the hood popped open. And this is the new S68 power plant. This isn't the S63, this is the S68. See the purple wire there for the mild hybrid system. See the coolers tucked in down there. We got our engine bracing. I mean, this thing, I mean, definitely impressive. Do I wanna, do I wanna sell the Hellcat and jump into this? I mean, you know, I'm always excited to get a new car, so I don't know, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. Take a peek back there. Not much to see, they got it covered up. This engine cover, I think that looks fantastic. But I mean, like, take a look at the difference in the, the seats. In the Durango, we got four captain's chairs. I mean, these seats are absolutely beautiful. And then let's jump, take a look in the Durango. Black with red always looks good, SRT. But so there's the Durango, what it looks like inside. Back to the X5. Now let's look at the rear of the vehicle. This is what I like here. We got four captain's chairs. And in the X5, as you guys saw, let me see, is it gonna open up for me? Well. Pop that open. We got the bench seat. I don't know. I mean, we got Durango. X5M, both black and red. Again, we're down here at IG Burton in Milford. My man, Nate, you're thinking about buying a BMW. He's the man. But there they are. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, man. I'm, I'm kind of torn because that thing is looking pretty tough. The Durango, you know we have it lowered on the Swift Springs. I mean, this thing is no joke. We run low 11s all day long, and it's bone stock. Uh, and then we got the X5M. It's like it's German brother, you know? It's like, that's the American cousin, <laughs> or there's the American brother grew up in the good old USA. And then here's the German brother. Same dad, different mom, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, there they are. There you have it, folks. The X5M, the Hellcat Durango. Which one would you guys pick and why? Let me know down in the comments. I mean, they're both uh, boosted V8s. I love, you know, everybody loves a boosted V8. I mean, that thing's no joke. Sounds absolutely amazing. This thing, modern technology, build quality is superb. But yeah, need you guys' help, man. Which one would you take? Would you keep the Durango and mod it? Would you get the X5M and just move on? But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hear from you guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one.